Hey guys, I'm Paige Pierce with Sportsman's Warehouse, and today I want to teach you how to time your bow. It's very important that both of your cams are in sync or in time. So what you're going to do is draw your bow back, and as you hit full draw, you're going to look at your stops and see if they contact the cables at the same time. If they don't, that means your cams are out of time, and that's definitely something you're going to want to fix. If they're out of time, what you may feel is a little bit of a spongy back wall where it has a lot of give, and that's not gonna be very consistent when you're trying to shoot. So here's how you fix it. Whichever cam is hitting first, whichever stop is hitting first, you can put twists in the cable that attaches to that cam, or take twists out of the cable that attaches to the other cam. Now just remember, if you take twists out of a cable, it's actually gonna shorten your draw length a little bit, and if you put twists into a cable, it is going to lengthen your draw length a little bit. So that will help you determine which one you wanna do. So for example, if your top cam is hitting before your bottom cam, you can put twists into the cable that's attaching to the top cam, or you can take twists out of the cable that's attaching to the bottom cam. Now when I say attaching to the cam, I realize that can be confusing because yes, both cables do attach, but one attaches very simply, as you can see here. On the opposite side of the cam, you can see that that is not a very simple connection. The cable wraps around the cam completely, and this would be really tough to take on and off repeatedly. So the golden rule to remember is whichever cam is hitting first, you can either put twists in that cable or take twists out of the opposite cable, and that will help you time your bow. I really hope this explains to you how to time your bow, and if you need help with this, head into your local sportsman's warehouse and they'll be able to do it for you. Thank <laughs> you.